to the scarcity of land, Nairobi residents may be forced to look into alternative send-offs for their loved ones, probably cremation. Following the passing on of conservationist and Nobel laureate Wangari Madhai, a sizable number of Kenyans were shocked by the late Madhai's decision to have her remains cremated. The ancient practice has been embraced mostly by Kenyans of Asian descent and has evolved presenting the late Madhai with a more environmentally friendly means of a send-off. Since then, the number of Kenyans open to cremation has increased and given the option of cremation or having your body unearthed years down the line, cremation seems to be their best option. Most like most burial happen because as a sign of respect. So if you recycle the whole thing again, so it doesn't make sense seriously. So it would be good if they look for somewhere else for like they can come up with another idea. You know, once you are dead, you are dead. That is all. Death is the end of everything. It's better once if we can burn that body and keep, uh, 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 say, a, a portion of the ash, maybe somewhere, that will be okay. Not that we want, I, I, I subscribe to that, but uh, the fact remains that it's also happening. Perhaps such things may also in the long term uh, provide a solution to or ease uh, the problem. Well, there you have it. Kenyans are more receptive to ideas surrounding cremation. However, what other options do they have out there? Among those options include transporting your remains into space, become a shining gem by exposing your remains to great heat and pressure, have your ash used as paint for a work of art or mummification, all of which are very expensive if not a bit unrealistic for most Kenyans. If the above options are too rich for your pocket, then there is always organ donation and dedicating your body to science, as explained by Dr. Peter Camonio. There, there are very many organs. If we group them, uh, starting from the heart, the lungs, or even heart-lung transplantation, what you commonly hear about, kidney transplantation, then others where you specifically pick tissues, like the cornea, um, blood, uh, bone marrow, um, even certain glands like the thymus and um, you can even go to the extent where you have uh, limbs actually being transplanted. Not just as a way of saving lives but also to improve the quality of life for different individuals. All this can be done at the request of the deceased but there is a qualification. The primary criteria is that the individual must be brain dead without hope of reversal. So if there is hope of reversal, then you cannot legally donate um, uh, uh, your, your, your body parts. Organ donation, however, requires one to find a way of disposing of the remaining parts as not the whole body can be donated. That's when dedicating the body for science comes into play, an option that people are encouraged to explore as there are few bodies available to Kenyan scholars of medicine. People should not feel shy about it. Um, the bodies are not treated with disrespect. It's actually en enhancing. It's a way of learning. In whatever way, the bottom line is to honor those we love when they depart. After death, the spirit is said to depart from one's body, but what then happens to the flesh is the point of connection between us and those who have passed on. Cherry to Aweru for News at 8.